Is it uh, Carol that took the pictures you said? Who? Carol. Ann's daughter, is she the one that's taking the pictures? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll have to... Uh, that's a funny, hey, that's my own brother. Yeah, I'll have to get a hold of Carol and see what pictures she's got and copy them from her. Where's she living now? That's... Of a tall, one of the that mom's brothers, Tom, I believe it's Tom or Joe, I don't know which one. Tom. See, Joe Fernet was named after your great great grandfather Joe. She named him after. I thought she took all those. I did, but I took them with a regular steel camera. And now I'm taking them with video. Skip the page. Oh, I oh well, there's Sally. That's me. Which one? Little, which one's you? Little one room schoolhouse. Yeah, which one was you again? That. Oh, oh. okay. Look at that ribbon. Mama got my hair paid as a tie. That's her. You don't have books so big and you'll never be able to lift it. That's okay. Up for generation. It's okay. I've got another book somewhere. I don't know what else. You didn't even see it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Put on your knee? No, no, I'm okay.
Was Dave Moffy down there when you were taught? When I went to school, Jack Mobley was there, yes. I got his picture. Okay. You let me go, go in the dining room, put, I mean in the kitchen, put that on the table, you want to have to scoop. Okay, I'm doing real good right here. I thought y'all took that one. Yeah. I, I think Nancy Elfer, that's Ann Payne Elfer, and ain't Nancy Elfer. She married her seal, and that's married for me. Yeah. And see, that's the children. That's my mom over there. Yeah. That's the first time he's been on a D since he said his prayer when he's a little girl boy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. That's the guy on a D still. Why? Now he's Joe Jr. or? That's Winnie's daddy. Um, and, and what was his dad's name? Joe, this Joe Fernay here, what was his dad's name? I lost my ear again. That's all right. I left a year where I talked to a phone. Okay, what was this this Joe right here? What was his dad's name? Benjamin Franklin. Uh, Benjamin, Benjamin, what was his grandpa Fernay's name? Benjamin, Robert Benjamin Fernay. Robert, Robert Benjamin Fernay. Married Ann, Fernay, Ann Humphrey. Okay. That's my grandfather. Okay. Okay, Ann Humphrey was the mother. Okay. That's Mark. Okay, so now your first degree was a B.S. degree, right? Uh, and that's a master. It says master. Yeah. What year did you get your your B.S.? I got I got diplomas in there from 11, 12, two years college, B.S. 32. B.S. 32, and there was only three people in Pearl River County that had degrees yeah. at that time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm recording. Now tell me that again that what kind of rifle that is? Well, it's a, a Lancaster style Pennsylvania rifle. Yeah, and, and you said it was also referred to as a Kentucky squirrel rifle? Yeah. Yeah, okay, and it belonged to William Whitten and was used by him in the Civil War. And he was uh, in the Georgia militia, I believe it was. Wait, wait. It was a revolution. Okay. Four. Yeah, and so so William used this not in the Civil War, but in the Revolutionary War, and this was the style of rifle that was made prior to the Revolutionary War. This would have been the same type gun that people of Daniel Boone's era would have been using. Right. Okay, and it's strictly a muzzle-loading, flintlock-type rifle. Flintlock and a lot of them later would, were converted to percussion. Oh, I see. So there's no way of knowing whether this one was converted or not because all the lock work is long gone out there. Right, right. Okay. This one I'm talking about, I said back then I had more nerve than I had since. I never, it never, well, and they, the man came out in the yard and held it and let him take a picture of it. And it's tied together with string a lot because. Excuse me just a minute. Uh, could you tell me again who these people are? Well, this is this is my father. Yeah, what was his full name? William Bethel Whitten Sr. Okay. 
Well, he was trying to find. This is my grandfather. Yeah, his full name? Willoughby Wedding. I can't tell you the middle. Okay. And this is my grandmother. Yep. And her name? I call her Anna. Okay. I couldn't tell you no more than that. Okay. Can you name the other kids? Well, this is. Let's wait a minute. Let's see. And that's the one you said was still yeah, living. Yeah, this is Arch with and he's still living. Okay. And uh, now there's one of these girls in a nursing home, but I don't know which is which. Yeah. Her name is Mady. No, Bertha. I'm sorry, Bertha. Okay. Then, uh, then the little girl standing in the middle there. Well, I couldn't. I really couldn't tell you. You don't know her no, name. No. No, sir. Yeah. I couldn't not be truthful. I could name I could name one of them, but I'd be telling a lie. Yeah, but uh, but them uh, others I do know. Okay, Uncle, Uncle Arch, my father. Yeah. Grandfather and grandmother. Yeah. Okay. It's on the back side. Right now, taken in 1905. Never let us. The access Left to right, us. Arch, Bethel, mm -hmm. Julian, I can't read that one, Willoughby, holding Bertha, yeah. standing is Murdy, seated is Annie, holding Lincoln. Lincoln, that's the one that got killed, shot in the back for somebody else. Got shot in the back? Yep, he was he was a red-headed man. Riding in a vehicle with some more people, and they was after somebody, but they got the whole wrong crew. Mm -hmm. Those earlier pictures of me because they're fading out. Yep. Now there's no glass on that, so that would be in your favor. Okay, now this was who again? That's Martha Ann Henderson Whitten. Martha Ann Henderson Whitten. Granger was about. Okay, this is Sarah DeCossie Whitten. Mm -hmm. And this is the she one. She was Wiley Washington Whitten's wife. Yeah, and Sarah, a, show, a soldier, was that poem about yes, her? Yes, uh -huh, I wrote that poem about her life. Okay. It was a true story. Wiley Washington Whitten. And he was the husband of, what was her name again? Sarah. Sarah. DeCausey. DeCausey. D C A U S E Y. Right. Wait. Okay. And what, before they came to Florida. Okay. This guy here on the bottom was. Uh, that is. Um, oh, that's. Uh, Severe. Charles Bennett Whitten. Charles Bennett Whitten, the one on the bottom? No, I'm sorry, that's Bennett Severe. Bennett Severe. He's the uh, son of, uh, of uh, Severe Whitten. His son was Charles Bennett. Okay, and this, this guy here? Oh, that's not Whitten, that's no. my great-grandfather Jigger, so my, my father's son. And these two folks here, 
That is uh, Betty Jean uh, Overby's ancestry. That girl was lady was Ella Whitten Johnson, and the husband was Felix Johnson. Okay. I don't know just how they fit into the thing. Okay. I think she comes in through severe some sort of way. Yeah. And that's William Mark Whitten. He's fading out, isn't he? Yeah, he's. Uh He's getting a little bad shape. Wait, wait, have you already taken it? Yeah, okay. go ahead. And that's Sarah Whitten again. <clears throat> I think I'll look in here and see if I have a clearer picture of William Mark. Yeah, what was his name again? William R. Whitten. William R. Whitten. We okay. never knew what the R meant. And... Uh, you know, we got a lot of William... He's Wiley Washington's had, brother, yeah. according to... John Cutterford was his name. John Cutterford? No, Cuthbert. C -U -T -H -B -E -R -T. Cuthbert. Okay. I just got to uh, <coughs> quickly... Who is this? My mother. That's Annie Whitten. Annie? Martha Ann was her name, but... Martha Ann Whitten? Mm -hmm, but okay. they called her Annie because my grandmother's name was Martha Ann. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to get some of these... Now, that's Billy Whitten, Ruby's son. He's the son of William H. Whitten, and he's William H. the third. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's 46 years old now, but he was young in that picture. William H.? Uh -huh. Okay. And this? That's Ruby Whitten, but she's not a Whitten by blood. She married William H., the father of this boy. Yeah. But she lives on the Swanee River. What was her name again? Huh? What was her name again? Ruby, Ruby? Page. Ruby Page Whitten. Ruby Page Whitten. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, now there's, these are wooden boys you're talking about all being so, so homely. No, 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 that's, uh, all right. yeah, you're right. That is the homely, but I should, we shouldn't put that on. Like <laughs> Somebody might hear it most of that sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> well, maybe it's a bad picture of them. And this one? That's my uncle Claude Whitten. That's Claude Aaron Whitten. Claude He's about Aaron in his 80s Whitten. There, not but about a couple of years before he passed away. Man, I got a lot of pictures somewhere too. Okay, now here's all of the ladies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That's uh, Ethel Whitten, Annie Whitten, Bessie Whitten, Virginia Whitten, and Laura Whitten. There's one sister that's dead, Lucia wasn't in that. Now they're all dead. Yeah. J.C. Billy and J.C. Whitten? Mm-hmm. The little one's Ben. He took after the Hendersons. He's the only short one in the bunch. <coughs> The Hendersons were all short. Mm-hmm. I don't suppose everybody was, but most of the ones I've met are. Yeah, Sweden girls. Yeah. It's so dark those pictures are. Can you can you name them? I see. Uh, am I in your way? <laughs> No, I have to look at them. Okay. Who put that? That's... And that's Aunt Virginia and Aunt Laura. Annie, Bessie, Virginia, and Laura. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the one that I say reminds me of you. Yeah. She looks like you. 
Okay, now here's the same four ladies, but behind them is the, is the men. Is that their husbands or uh, is that brothers? No, that's the wooden boys and the wooden girls. That's okay. not husbands. That's okay. All woodens. I can't see it. You see? <laughs> yeah. That's, I'm sorry. Uh, Uncle Claude, go start with the back row. Uncle Claude, Uncle Jason, see Uncle Robert. No, that wasn't Uncle Claude. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's Uncle W.L., the little one, and Uncle J.C., and Uncle Robert, and Uncle Claude, and Uncle Wiley. Yep. And Annie, and Bessie, Virginia, and Laura. Right. <clears throat> Okay, now. That's Robert Otis Whitten, O D E S Whitten. He's the second oldest son of the 11 children. Okay. That's JC and Claude. As you can tell, they were great hunters. That's just a granddaughter. Her name was Irma Williams. I tried to reach her, but nobody knows where she is, even her brother. Oh, Lord, that's on the hunting trip. That's Uncle Billy, Uncle J.C., Uncle Robert, Uncle Claude, and Uncle Whiteley. That's a long time ago. They evidently camped out there all night, didn't they? That's the same people, J.C., uh, Claude, Robert, wait a minute, no, J.C., Billy, Robert, and Claude. <coughs> yeah. That's just part of that old house when they first brought it in. That's, uh, that's Robert again. Robert Lotus wouldn't. That's grandmother and grandfather. Yeah, for the for the tape, what was their full name? Oh, Martha Ann Henderson Whitten and John Farrell Whitten. Okay. So this is a Faulkner family. Mm-hmm. Here is a judge, a circuit clerk of the court or something. Your uh, one of your paintings. Uh oh. Somebody painted it. Not her. I painted a uh, colored one, but I don't have one here. I gave it to her daughter, and she's dead now. I don't know who has it. That's the McMullen brothers. You don't need them. Okay. They made a good picture, but. That's Grandmother Whitten's family, some of her family. Her grandmother was Rebecca Fane and that MacMullen, and that's Grandmother's uncles. That's my brother and I when we were little. That's John Farrell Whidden and my grandmother Martha Ann Henderson Whidden <coughs> and Uncle, um, no oh Lord, <laughs> Uncle Claude and Uncle Robert and Uncle Wiley, the youngest boy. That's Virginia Whidden. <coughs> You've got those, some of those old group pictures. Yeah, Don't waste all your time on them. That's the oldest one, and that's the old nice grand grandfather. Oh, 
And that's Uncle JC again. You've got several of him. Not that I care how many of them you take. I just didn't want you to... <coughs> that's Aunt Bessie. She was a wedding. She's the one that you look remarkably like and talk and act like her. Her husband was Ivy McMullen. Her husband's great-grandmother, great-grandfather, and her great-grandmother were brother and sister. Yeah. Mm hmm Is this the same person over here? No, that's Aunt Ethel with one of her kids. And that group picture of women is my mother seated, Annie, and reading from left to right around is Aunt Laura, Aunt Bessie, and Aunt Virginia. That's three more of those same old boys. That's, um, it's hard to tell when you're not looking at them. Willie, J.C., and Robert. They look considerably alike. They didn't, in a, actually, but there was the family resemblance in all of them. Yeah. That's fair, after they had begun to restore it more and fix it. <clears throat> now they charge to go in there. Where is this located now? At Perry, in the Pioneer Capitals, the Forest Capital State Park in the Pioneer Village. <clears throat> That's in Florida? Mm-hmm, Perry, Florida. Perry, Florida. They have a Perry. Okay. Her name is Molly, Mary G. Whitten, my grandfather's sister, and her husband, William Penn Johnson, and he kept the post office at Waylonzo in his back bedroom. Edward Whitten, and down at the bottom is Charles Biles Whitten. The, Charles Biles was older, Thomas Edward was the youngest. They're both my grandfather's brothers, and his wife was Maddie Young. Don't take him so many times if you don't want to. I mean, that's Lucia Fair Whitten, and uh, she was one of my mother's older sisters, the second daughter. Ro is my oldest cousin, first cousin, and Lauren was my mother's cousin. Yep. Near a generation apart. And that little house over there under the tree, under the oak trees, I. I it's the one I wrote the poem about, said toward the back of the book, and it mentions Lauren in it. And he told me 